I'm out of my mind. I got an empty bottle with me for workout. ये लड़की लड़के गई थी कि वो हमारे साथ खाना खाने नहीं जाएगी अपेरेंटली पर ये खुद ही आ गई जब इसको किसी ने नहीं बनाया When you are high, work. When you are low, take rest, prepare. I mean, I think that's that's how I would be able to survive. The weather is so good. When I used to wake up around six o'clock and I used to come out around six thirty, then it used to be a bit sunny. <laughs> Thing we have to complete within two days. Let's see what we'll be able to do by the end of this day. इतना खाना खा लिया तो जाते हैं ऐसे लग रहा है कि बस जाके सो जाओ। पर let's go today. The jog is done. I will just go quickly get ready and go for breakfast. It's almost eight o'clock and I am late. Before moving forward, let's talk about the sponsors of our video. So this video has been sponsored by UPDF. UPDF, you can edit PDFs just like you are working in Word. You can change text, images, links, all while keeping the perfect formatting. You can annotate like a pro and run AI-powered OCR for instant text recognition. And yes, UPDF even has an AI assistant powered by GPT-4.0.1 and DeepSeek to summarize, translate, chat with your PDF. Additionally, say you need to present a PDF, you can just directly use the presenter mode. If you want to share it, you can directly share it. you don't need to upload you can even compress the large pdfs in just seconds you can add password for full protections also you get 10 gb of cloud storage and the best part is it is 1 by 6 the cost of other tools available in the market with the lifetime upgrade and premium features you pdf has rolled out its 2.0 version very recently and they have some limited time offers going on on their website for the new product launch so yes check out the link given below in the description section for the limited time offer and experience the smartest pdf editor out there hello everyone so today we'll be talking about how to prepare for gate for those of you who don't know what gate is because apparently when i decided to write gate i had very limited knowledge about it being in a field where gate is not a norm kind of exam because if you are doing engineering obviously you might have heard about gate but uh, being in any other field like we can can't generalize that everyone might be knowing personally i didn't know about it it was not a norm in my field to give or write in gate usually people who are doing btech or those who have already done their you know masters so they have different reasons of taking gate for example for btech people if they are writing gate maybe they want to uh, uh, take admission into some good iits for their masters program like mtech and those people who are who are doing their masters and then writing it maybe they have a reason of getting into phd program through gate because some of the i some of iisers and iits they have institutional fellowships for which you don't require csir even if you have gate you are eligible to you know appear for interview so in gate also we have different subjects personally i wrote gate life science and i randomly put up a video like one two year back when i wrote gate and it is kind of a very famous shot in my channel i don't know why i didn't get a very good rank as such but yes i prepared for two months and i was able to 
crack it so let's get into how did i prepare i am not guiding you how to do it but we'll be sharing how i did it maybe for some of you it might work so what i did was like i had to i had like 1.5 or 2 months time and i also had my classes along with that masters classes and sometimes it is very confusing like how to get that extra time to study and also i had no overlap between my subjects like um, we used to have very different subjects than what was there in gate even though gate syllabus look very short like one page or two pages for each subject but they touch upon every topic like i chose biochemistry and geology for gate and there they have covered almost all aspects cell cycle then immunology then all the molecular techniques then uh, evolution ecology genetics like they touched upon all the topics so how did i tackle it what i usually do whenever i write a competitive exam my simple technique is i will first download it syllabus then i will download its previous year papers because i have tried that way also like when i was preparing for neat after my 12th so what i used to do is i used to read you know every page everything and i used to try to you know memorize everything but that ways you are not very productive so what i do instead now is i will as soon as i download the paper i don't uh, I, i will have a physical copy of the papers then i will start solving the papers yes it sound crazy because directly how can you solve question even when you have not read the concept so that is a trick here like when you start solving you will the that concept will be very foreign to you like in my case it was foreign but obviously if you are from life science or if you are studying in this basic biology thing then obviously you will have some understanding about the concepts but for me that was not the case so as soon as i will start doing first question then i will search i will google the same concept somewhere and i will read one to page about it and then i will get myself familiar with the topic and in case i understood it is fine otherwise then i will find a way to solve that question like how to solve that particular particular question and you know it became very interesting when you are solving a problem versus when you are just reading a concept if you have a problem in hand and you have to solve it you will read everything around it and you won't feel bored but if i give you a book and i i will ask you to read every page of it you won't be able to do that then when you move to the next question you have another concept so it will not allow you to get bored you you will always have that sense of you know surprise like you don't know what the next question will you know demand you to read so that is a kind of surprise element in your preparation so i did it like this in the first reading i will never make notes i will not write anything i will just try to solve that question in case and that time um, uh, chat gpt just started like it was picking up the wave so what i used to do is uh, i will read the concept then i will put it in chat gpt then i will read there then in the second time like whenever i have the similar kind of question what i used to do is i will search that topic on youtube and maybe i will watch some videos you know there are so many channels which provide some free videos also even if you don't i i personally didn't, uh, didn't enroll into any coaching much stuff so what i used to do is for example if i am reading about cell cycle so i will directly search cell cycle and whichever video i find good i will just watch it so there were different length of videos like some videos they will be like very large so the kind of video which i chose for a particular topic that depended on the mood for example if i wanted a quick fix i will watch a video like that um, i don't know uh, there is one ma'am she is like biology something biology bites something like that i don't remember her name but she is very famous in uh, guiding this csir kind of preparation and she have this very short short videos on the concepts so sometimes i used to watch her then then there was a channel ifos they have this free lectures but they have very long lectures so uh, after doing a same kind of problem in 3 4 question in 3 4 papers if i finally get very interested into understanding the you know depth of that topic because i realized for example if a question if a talk concept is being repeated 4 5 times then obviously it will be like important and it might get repeat again and also when you solve so many problem you like 
you yourself will have that you know zeal like you will be curious you will be more curious that how much depth is there in that topic how much more is there to that topic and then you will end up reading the thing so in the first go i will just solve the paper for example i took one paper and i am solving that paper then in the first go i will not write anything in the second go when i am solving the same paper again what i used to do is i will whatever i remember from the previous time i will just note it down and if i am able to solve that question using that concept itself it is fine otherwise what i will do is again i will search and again i will write down the thing from the previous preparation but this time i will again read and in the third reading again from the second reading whatever i whatever i remembered i will jot down this concept there are certain factual things also which i will keep writing alongside on the paper so on the sides of paper that will act like notes like towards the end of preparation you might not have that much time that you can go through all the videos and you, maybe you can read books that will not be possible then uh, for any preparation there you need certain books also so that you can you know you can have this thing okay this is something which i need need to cover like when you solve paper i also had this habit that when i used to say solve a paper one concept came so i will highlight that concept in my syllabus printout so i told that i also had a printout of the syllabus so i will just highlight it once or maybe i will underline the concept that shows that okay i have gone at least once through that topic and again when the topic is coming again i will highlight it again i will put a underline that shows after a point of time you will have certain topics which are being repeated a lot you know in the previous year papers so they become very important and for those topics i used to read i used to watch videos so that the concept is crisp what makes gate very difficult is there multiple choice questions so when i used to practice i used to barely get 35 40 marks and i used to feel that i won't be able to do it but you know just cracking it it now just cracking the exam is very easy but getting a rank is not that easy i didn't get a very good rank but yeah it was fair enough like it was okay rank but if you have enough time and if you follow this kind of pattern it will be great for you so the books which i referred during the during my preparation i have a list of it just two books are there pathfinder 2 volume are there usually people who are preparing for csr they follow that book so what these books have they have like very concise topics which, which whichever topic appear in csr syllabus they have very concise notes of those topics like uh, in biochemistry section like amino acid structures then protein then all the, the all those topics they have covered in a very you know short manner summary summary kind of thing so i got those books there were two volumes and it covered almost everything which was there in biochemistry and geology in uh, gate then uh, yes in the book also i used to highlight whichever topic was i was reading i will just highlight it's not like that i have covered the whole book i didn't cover the whole book only the important topic i read from that uh then uh, there were as i was talking about the facts so in case you are coming across a lot of facts which you need to remember so for that you can use enki for this particular preparation the gate i didn't use it for other exams i used enki like i used to put facts in there and it will um, automatically give me this flash cards every other day or two three days and then they had this cycle after point of time you will remember those facts you don't need to put extra efforts it's like gamification of your preparation while you know while if you want to remember certain facts so you can directly put those particular facts and uh, after one day then three days then seven days and if you are forgetting and if you are not able to answer some flash card it will give those flash cards again and again so in a way that you actually you know remember those facts then uh, youtube channels i told but this strategy have a side effect also like it has some negative points also okay it is a quick fix you will be able to cover a lot of concepts in limited amount of time and if you have very less time this is okay okay sure of doing things but the downside is like when you have read so many topics there is no anchor point to it like you don't know where the base is you don't know like okay you have read four five topics but you know don't know the depth of those topics so in case some conversation is going on about those topics you will never be very confident in talking about those topics because yes you know about topics but you don't know how much depth it have so yeah that confidence part will be lacking and but i suggest that if you have time like four five months you start with this thing 
you will get to know the important topic uh, so alongside that you have to pick up a book of your interest when you develop interest in some topic you have to pick up a book and you have to start reading that book also so that uh, when you are done with your gate and when you are ready to take into go into phd in case you are doing uh, in case you are writing gate for uh, getting admission into phd so in that case it will be very helpful if you start with a book so i started it very late i i was totally into cracking exams and writing a lot of exams because yes once you failed once you fail into one exam then you at least don't want this competitive exam to hinder your progress but reading is very important it will give you confidence it will tell you what you are interested in it it will uh, guide your way moving forward so i have started this habit of reading 10 20 10 20 pages every day whatever important work i am doing see everything is important every day you will have something important everything is very important i totally understand that but you have to find some time to read that at least 4 5 pages if not 10 to start with you have to manage your time and you have to read a lot lot and lot because just cracking exam is not the way towards success in fact anything is not a way towards success